Hey guys, I'm just a freak and I hope that each and every one of you is doing great and it's enjoying this beautiful medium called the uh, manga, this beautiful form of entertainment, I could say. And yeah, as you might have guessed, um, I'm planning to do another manga haul. And I have like, I think, 11 packages. Uh, one is a big box, the other one is pretty big. All from Book Depository. So yeah, without any further <laughs> uh, discussion, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's start with uh, this small one. Uh, there was a sale on uh, Book Depository at 10% off and I got a lot of manga. So yeah, hopefully I will get it all in the future and we'll get to see a lot of manga unboxings on this channel. So it looks like this is volume 18 from Yu Hakusho. As I was saying before in the other hauls, I'm uh, trying to get all of the volumes from Yu Hakusho uh, in, uh, in this next uh, time frame. So, because because I, I I know I want to, to to get a chance to read this because I am I'm a really big fan of the anime since I saw it in high school and I just benched it. It's my favorite fighting anime, and uh, yeah. By by the way, uh, that was uh, put out on Netflix, so it's easily available to a greater audience. So hopefully, uh, more people will see it. But yeah, as I said before, I want to, to read the manga because I don't remember each and every part of the anime after so many years and it was a good time to actually try to pick it up. Also, this kind of uh, Viz releases are older, so I expect them to slowly go out of print. I don't know if, if that's going to happen now or you know, in five years, but I don't want to risk it. So yeah, Yu Hakusho, volume 18, from what I remember there are 19 in total, so one step closer to, to having it all. Next one, let's see. Hmm. Nice, 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 nice. Damn, this volume looks pretty, pretty great and it's... Uh, Looks like a really nice hardcover from Drawn and Quarterly. Uh, this is The Swamp by Yoshiharu Tsugi. Uh, this is an older manga. I f actually think that this is a Gegika series. And it was recently released. And I just uh, hit the button, order it to see, to see how it is. And I can't wait to read it. I can't wait to read it. It sounded pretty, pretty cool. Next one. Let's see. And we have the first volume from my collection from Black Lagoon. And yeah, this is actually number 10. So what's the story behind me buying Black Lagoon? So I recently saw the anime that was pretty, pretty great. I had a lot of fun with it. It's about a team of smugglers who live in uh, Rolanapur, I think it's the name of the city. The city where all of the rejects of the world, all of the criminals, all of the people that don't have a place anywhere else went to do, to live there and do business. So it's a pretty dangerous town, something like that. And uh, there you have a bunch of mafia bosses and you also have this firm, this delivery firm uh, of smugglers called Black Lagoon. And it kind of, it kind of follows them uh, along the way. Um, so, 
uh, along the way to some of their missions and uh, those were pretty pretty fun in the anime so I decided to also see how the manga is and uh, yeah hopefully I'm gonna enjoy it because from what I remember I I got it all so but I, I really like it I, I know for sure that I'm gonna enjoy it because um, the the anime was uh, was quite 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 good. It kind of reminded me of Helsing, and it's done by Studio Trigger. So next we have Yu Hakusho Volume 15. One step closer. Let's see what we have here. And it looks like another volume from the collector's editions from Fruits Basket. Don't remember uh, correctly, but I think that I'm missing only two at this point to have the whole series. Uh, this is a shoujo series involving uh, evo uh, that kind of involves a family that uh, can it's. They are related to the zodiac, so each one of them can transform into into an animal. And damn it, it looks a little bit damaged, but it's something that I think that I can fix. Anyway, it's a great series. A lot of people are recommending it, and I'm slowly collecting it. And hopefully, in the near future, I'm gonna have it all. This comes with French flaps, as you can see. Also, some color pages here. It's an older series and it recently got another anime adaptation that is kind of, um, I don't know, more modern in terms of animation. Even the mangaka said that uh, the new anime is way better. So if you're uh, holding off on getting this, try watching a couple of episodes from the anime. I think it's available on Crunchyroll. That's where I saw it at least. Next one, let's see. Ah, I, I was afraid because as you can see the, the box is a little bit damaged so I was afraid that the volume will also be a bit damaged but it looks like it's only bent and I'm gonna be able to, to fix it with some pressure on it. So, another volume from Yu Hakusho, this is volume 13, getting closer and closer. Let me get this out of the way, and let's see what we have here. And this is volume 3 from, uh, from Black Lagoon. Pretty, pretty nice cover over there. Uh, yeah. Can't, can't wait to dive into this series, can't wait to have it all, because at a point, I don't know if it was because of everything that's going on in the world, but at a point I, was, uh, I wasn't I was able to find the volume 8 or something like that, so I thought that it was going out of print, but anyway, it's back in stock, so if you want to get it, you can, and yeah. Another another piece of art with uh, my girl and uh, Ravi and my boy Rock. By the way, Rock is a Japanese businessman that uh, is abducted quite at the beginning of the series, and uh, one thing leads to another, and he becomes part of the Black Lagoon crew. And as you may have noticed, he's kind of like. Uh, out of place in that whole environment, that whole uh, set of characters and so on. But he's, he's pretty cool, he's pretty cool. Now let's see what we have in this big one over here, except some random piece of paper. And I'm actually able to do it like this. Ooh. So guys, it looks like this, uh, this hole, it's kind of a Yu Hakusho hole. And then with all of this, I wonder if I'm still missing anything. So, 
Let's see. We got volume 16, 10, 2, 7, 9, and 17. I'm still not seeing volume 19, so my guess is that I'm missing that one. Here are the spines and the back. I'm quite happy that I finally managed to get this series and that I will have it as part of my, my collection. And I'll be able to read it whenever I want. And that's, that's quite a nice thing to, to have. Another big one. Let's see. It looks like I'll have to to cut this one since uh, they taped it like this. I'm gonna go whole with full beast on it. And let's see. Looks like a couple of volumes from Black Lagoon. So I got volume 11, volume 1. I can actually start reading it. Volume 2. Volume 7 and Volume 4. Look at this cover. Oh my god, this, this series is so badass. So they they have uh, they they kind of used to make those faces when they fight and when they get into a bloodlust uh, kind of feeling and it's it's pretty brutal at some port uh, at some point because you could imagine that that uh, whole scenario with uh, a city full of criminals is not that <laughs> I, I don't know that peaceful and that uh, forgiving. So five uh, five uh, more volumes from this one got seven. So it looks like it's kind of a Yu Hakusho Black Lagoon uh, haul this time around. Next, let's see what we have in this big one. Pretty, pretty huge. So, I don't know, even more. maybe a couple of volumes or a big, nice omnibus. I think I'm missing. Uh, I ordered uh, the Rose of the Versailles for volume two for a while now, and I, I'm still missing it. So, maybe, maybe. But even for that, this is a little bit too big. Oh. I think that you guys can imagine what this uh, this is right here. Because when you get a box in a box, you get an absolute edition. And this one is uh, from the Sandman universe. Um, I think it's the last uh, the last thing that came out. It's uh, the absolute that is practically a set of stories in involving that uh, Dream's sister, quite an amazing character, and yeah, I I have it now. Let me see if I can open this up without doing any damage to it because I don't want to damage these beauties. And let's take a peek inside. I This one, it's something that I wasn't able to read yet. So it's kind of new to me too. And it's quite, quite exciting. As always, they come in a really, really nice uh, slip cover. And inside of it, we have a beautiful book with a leathery feeling in the same format as the others. And uh, yeah, let's let's take a peek inside. I know that I'm repeating myself, but comics do get a way better treatment than manga. 
Yeah, I think that this this story I might have read it somewhere because it looks uh, it looks familiar. Anyway, this is that. Uh, this is dream. Their siblings, and uh, if you are if you don't know anything about the Sandman universe, check it out. It's really really great. It's for a mature audience, so not something for children because it involves all kind of messed up things. But Neil Gaiman is a really really good writer, and uh, I also heard some rumors about uh, them wanting to make a. a live action adaptation out of Sandman so yeah that they that may be uh, interesting they did of uh, American Gods and that was quite quite great so yeah anyway we are uh, at the last package from this uh, haul it's a pretty big one and again from book depository sometimes they send send them like this I wish they that they did every time so that I would have to go only from time to time to the post office but yeah let's see what we have here first I have to make up some room because this is way way too big so I'm going for one, one minute okay let's see We got a lot of manga guys, a lot of manga. So let's see. First, it looks like we we have a lot of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. So I had I think three volumes from this series. This is something that I uh, saw in the anime format and that I really really enjoyed. And uh, as I was telling you guys earlier, uh, there was a sale on, uh, on Book Depository, at least for my region. And I used that opportunity to get uh, some of the missing volumes. And from the looks of it, I think I have until uh, volume 10 right now. That time I was reincarnated, I got reincarnated, uh, reincarnated as a slime. It's uh, Nisekai, as you may I know see from uh, from the um, title but it's pretty good one it's a pretty good one it was really fun to see I loved the whole evolution of the story the evolution of the character and uh, when I say that I'm also talking about the way he levels up in uh, in the series because he it's about a guy who dies of course probably hit by a truck or something similar I think he actually got stabbed and he is reincarnated as a slime in a dark uh, cave where he doesn't know anything that he has to do he's reincarnated as the weakest monster out there so that kind of um, is bad for him but he manages to overcome that point and um, he grows uh, stronger and stronger by consuming things and absorbing part of their abilities and from there it goes beyond anything and uh, it it's it was quite a nice thing to watch and i want to experience this thing also in the manga format so yeah this is that time i've got reincarnated as a slime a lot of volumes here so I'm closer to being up to date with this one now because I think that only 14 15 volumes are out at this point so yeah quite 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 close I don't fear uh, for this going out of print because it's quite popular in the community and we are probably gonna see a second anime for this one pretty soon but Anyway, I wanted to have them to be sure and to be able to experience it and read it, also in the manga format. Next one, I got volume 3 from Kake Gurui Twin. Uh, this is the spin-off series uh, from Kake Gurui. It involves this character, Mary, and uh, 
the events take place, at least from what I've read in Volume 1, before the events in Kakegurui. It's a pretty, pretty nice series about that involves gambling and the bloodlust that people are getting from gambling. It gets quite freaky from time to time. And yeah, I, I enjoyed a lot the anime, so I want to also read more about this universe. And next, it looks like I managed to get two more volumes from Arakawa Under the Bridge. These are put out by Vertical. This is volume two and three. And this one is banned. Of course it is. And quite bad. But anyway, Arakawa Under the Bridge. It's a comedy drama series. Uh, these are omnibuses and I think they are three, two in ones. Or I think they are two in ones. And the last volume I think just came out for it, that's volume uh, 8. And I'll try to also pick that up at some point to get it all in my collection. From what I've read so far it was pretty pretty nice, it involves a guy who is from a um, really really rich family that owns a lot of business in Japan. And uh, he was taught uh, to have always respect one principle in um, his life. To never owe anything to anyone but during some uh, weird circumstances quite, quite stupid if you think about it uh, he gets to own a favor to a girl who lives under a bridge and yeah that's how this starts and it involves into something quite interesting so I think uh, this was it for my haul, I managed to get a pretty decent amount of uh, of new volumes this time in my collection, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please uh, leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more hauls or I don't know some box edits, unboxing or stuff like that. Uh, Every video should have, uh, at least the newer one, should have a list of uh, playlists that I made in the description, so make sure to check that one out. Uh, again, hope that you enjoyed it, hope that you liked it, let me know what you thought about everything in here in the comment section, and go read some manga. Bye bye!